Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am Mr. Bisto and these are 5 tips for Vermintide 2. I will try and make this video as quick as I possibly can, so kicking it off, number 1 is play with your team. This seems simple stupid on the surface of it. You know, uh, don't split up, protect your friends, heal each other, share your pots, but we've all come across them haven't we in our quick play games, you've got those people who run ahead, chase those green circles, and it just doesn't help anybody out, it's a PvE game. Play with your team, help each other out. It's the best way to win in higher up difficulties. Straight into number two is use your resources. Again, simple, stupid, exactly what it says on the tin. Get used to using your resources. Get comfortable with drinking the pots whenever you come across a patrol or you get into a really sticky situation, a friend goes down. Pop a purple pot, pop a speed pot. It's only going to help. Remember, if, if you never use a pot, it is wasted 100% of the time. So just get used to using them as much as you can and then we, you can always dial it back uh, as you get better at the game and you learn more about the game. You can start using them a bit less and a bit more in, in specific circumstances. A little tip as well, if you see a friend go down and you've got a bomb, whether it's a frag bomb or a fire bomb, chuck that on their body. It's going to clear a lot of enemies out and it's going to make it easier for you to get the revive on them. Number three is use your ults. Again, it sounds really, really, really simple, but I see a lot of people not using their ultimates. It's easier to overuse your ult and then dial it back again as you start picking and choosing those specific times you should be using them. But just get used to using them. You can use, you can use a lot of ults while you're reviving teammates like Battle Wizards Firewalk or a Salt Spire Shout or a Kruber Shout. You can use a lot of those things while you are reviving teammates and it's a massive help. But you can use them in other situations as well, like when a Packmaster's coming. If a Packmaster's coming, use your shout. Even if you're the only one there, if you're Kruber, use your shout to knock it on the floor and get an easy kill. That's a lot, lot easier than trying to get all fancy and dodge it. If you haven't practiced that enough, you might get grabbed. Whereas if you shout, it's going to be on the floor 100% of the time. You can kill it, easy kill, nice, everybody's still up. Number four is track those specials. So many times I've seen people go down to specials, especially if it's some, you know, a class that doesn't have any ranged, Grail Knight, Slayer, Warrior Priest. I hear it all the time. Oh, you guys need to deal with specials more. Or our ranged isn't doing specials. Or anything else like that. Or our snipers aren't helping us. Things like that. And it's just a load of rubbish. It is everybody's responsibility to track specials and deal with specials. It's not just one or two people's job. If you are playing a Slayer, Grail Knight, Warrior Priest, something like that, if you see a Rattling Gunner start shooting, line of sight it. The same with a, a Warp Fire Thrower. You can line of sight it and it will have to come to you to do damage. You're safe, it's fine, you're taking a lot of pressure off somebody else. The same with Assassins. The one thing I will say, be very careful with Hook Rats if you're standing right next to a corner, as they can be a little bit funky sometimes and they might grab you through it. On to the final tip now, number five, which is pacing. And the easiest way that I can explain pacing to anybody is that the longer you stay in a map, the more things you are going to fight. Therefore, the more resources you're going to use, the more chance you have of dying. Now, this doesn't mean that you should just sprint through a map willy-nilly, ignoring everything. That's not what I mean. But what you should do is try and keep progressing. Even if it's only slowly, keep progressing forward through the map. Obviously, watch out for triggers, things like that, which I will be covering triggers in another video, but I digress. Keep moving forward through the map. As an example, if you're playing on Cataclysm, then each horde that you have, when the horde buzzer goes off, the horde sound, uh, you will have three waves. Now that might be all three from the front, all three from the back. You might have them, you know, front, back, front, back, front, back, things like that. So say, for example, you have a wave that waves that come and it's back first, then it goes front, then it goes back. Don't run to the back to meet them run to the front, run to the back. It's just pointless. It's a waste of time. Keep moving forward. The wave will catch up. The rats are faster than you. They will catch up and you can keep slowly progressing through the map and you will fight less stuff. On to our little bonus tip. And it's not really a tip in all honesty. It's a bit more like advice. Don't be scared to ask questions. We all start at the same point. We all start with zero knowledge and zero experience. Only way we get better is by trying things, failing and asking questions. So feel free, ask questions. I do have a Discord. It is in the description. I forgot what that word was. It's in the description below. So feel free to join that. My DMs are always open. Shoot me a DM if you have a question about something. If I don't know the answer, I will know somebody who does know the answer 
Also throw questions in the comments, anything else like that. And guys, girls, any feedback you've got, this is my first video, obviously. So any feedback you've got, please feel free to put it in the comments. Constru constructive criticism uh, is what I'm after. So please let me know what I can do better. Other than that, much love, everybody. Oh, one last thing. I do stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So feel free. I will put that a link to that in the uh, description as well. But other than that, much love and keep slapping those rats. Ciao for now.